Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to explore data collection and sampling techniques. The objective of this video are understand the fundamental sampling techniques, random sampling, stratified sampling, systematic sampling, and cluster sampling. And the second objective is understand the sources of error in sampling, like sampling error and non-sampling error. Okay, data collection and sampling technique. Gathering information about an entire population often costs too much or is virtually impossible. Instead, we use a sample of the population. So whenever we want to collect data about anything, we'll not be able to go to entire population. So what we do is we select a sample or subset of the population to study about that population. A sample that we select should have same characteristic as the population. Meaning of that is your, your sample should be representing the population. It should be representative of the population. Most statisticians use various method of sampling. Okay, so most stat statisticians use various method of random sampling to achieve the goal, but there are four big methods of sampling. They are random sampling, stratified sampling, systematic sampling, and cluster sampling. We are going to explore each of these in this video. First, what is simple random sampling? Simple random sample is the process of using a chance to select individual from a population to be included in the sample. In order to obtain the obtain a sample of size n from a population of size uppercase n, we use a table of random numbers or random number generating software like TI-84 calculator. Meaning of that is, if this is our population and we want to draw a sample of size 5 from here, okay, for instance, the total member in this population is 15 and I want to draw a sample of size 5. So in order to do this using the simple random sampling technique, what we do is we number this individual in the population starting at 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 15. Now from here, suppose I want to draw a sample of size 5. So what we can do is you can use the table of random number, or you can use any random number generating software. For example, in your TI-84 calculator, if you go to math, probability, and number eight, you'll get a random integer, no repeat. So you'll get to this menu. Then the lower value is one, from one up to 15. That's our population. And we want a sample of size N. So after we type this, when we hit paste to the main screen and then enter, we get the numbers, five random numbers from one through 15. So I got 12, one, six, 15, and four. Meaning of that is from this population, I have to select these individuals, the individual at 12th position, first position, sixth position, 15th position, and four position or fourth position. And we get that sample over here. So this method of collection of sample is called the random sample. And the random sampling technique is one of the most widely used sampling technique in statistics. Second sampling technique is stratified sampling. Stratified sample is obtained by separating the population into a non-overlapping group called strata and then obtaining a sample that is a simple random sample from each stratum. Meaning of that is what we do is, if we have a large population like this, we divide the population into a small group here. This is my first group, this is my second group. Those small groups, they are called the strata. But remember, the individual within each stratum should be homogeneous or similar in some way. So I can see that in my first group here these are all males and these are all females so there is homogeneity now 
after we divide the population into a strata like this, where each strata has a uniform characteristic or similar characteristic, then what I do is from each strata, we use the simple random technique or random selection procedure and select the members from here. Also, we do the same thing with the second strata. We get the sample from there. And this one, the collection that we obtain from each strata using simple random sample, this group of sample that we obtain here is the stratified sample. Next example here, you can see we have the households here, which are classified according to some group or strata. In the first strata, these houses are low income. The second strata, middle income. And the third one is high income. Now what do we do? From the first, using the random sampling technique, we are selecting the number of uh, individual that we want. For example, we want two. From here, we do the same thing. We use the random sampling technique and we select. Suppose here I selected three. Here, from the third, we use the, again the random sampling technique and we selected two. So these one, those which are circled, can be the part of our stratified sample. So in stratified sample, in short, what we do is we divide the population into small groups called strata. These small groups or strata must have a homogeneous characteristic. And from each strata using the random sampling technique, we select the individuals from there. Okay, so that process is the stratified sampling. That is the second technique of sampling or collection of data. Okay, third sampling technique is called the systematic sampling. So systematic sample is obtained by selecting every kth individual from the population. The first individual is selected corresponding to a random number between one and k. So what we do is, for example, we have a population here. If we approximately know the size of the population, we consider that size as n. And our sample size, we consider that as lowercase n. If we divide the uppercase n by lowercase, lowercase n, we'll get this ratio, uppercase n over lowercase n. We round it to a integer value, and that is k. Okay, that's our k. Now what do we do? From one and k, or between one and k, using random sample, we select one number between these two values. Suppose I got these two. Okay, so I got the first selection of individual in the second position. And then, for example, if this k is three, then every third is selected. If it was five, every fifth is selected. If it is seven, every seventh is selected. So if I select this one as the first individual and every third is selected, one, two, three, this one is selected. Then every third, one, two, three, this one is selected. Then every third, one, two, three, this is selected. Every third, so one, two, three, this is selected. So after that, we have only two, that means we are not selecting this one, okay? So this process of taking the sample in a systematic way by finding the first one using the simple random sampling technique and then every kth individual after that, okay? If you see you are selecting every kth individual, then that sampling technique is systematic sampling. The last sampling technique that is used in the fundamental statistics is the uh, clustered sampling. Clustered sampling. So cluster sample is obtained by selecting all individual in randomly selected collection of individual. This is quite similar to a stratified sampling. What we do is we divide the population into small cluster, cluster number one, cluster number two, cluster number three, cluster number four, cluster number five. And then from this cluster, we select the whole cluster, every member of some cluster. For example, out of these five, if I select three of them randomly, suppose I got one, four, and five. So everything in the first clus cluster, everything in the fifth cluster, everything in the fourth cluster is selected. So the population is divided into groups called clusters, like this one. You have one, two, three, four, five. Then all of the members in one or more 
but not all, one or more. So out of five, we are just selecting three, okay, of the cluster are selected. To avoid biased sample, because there may be biasness in this type of sample, care must be taken to ensure that all cluster have similar characteristic, okay? So they must have the, the members of cluster one, cluster two, cluster three, cluster four, and cluster five, they must have some sort of uniform characteristic. And then out of the certain number of clusters that we have made, we selected the required number of clusters out of that. So that sampling technique is called the cluster sample. Okay, now we have learned the sampling technique. We learned the four sampling technique, okay? Random sampling technique, stratified sampling technique, systematic sampling technique, and the cluster sampling technique. But when we do this sampling, there are chances that we will have some sort of error in the sampling process. There are two types of errors. The first one is called the sampling error. And sampling error is the difference between the result obtained from sample and the result obtained from population from which the sample was selected. For example, you have a big population. From there, you took a small sample. You thought that the sample was representative and you calculate the mean, say, for example. The mean that you obtain from the sample will be different from the mean of the population. That difference is called the sampling error. And sampling error occurs if the sample gives incomplete information about the population, or if the sample is not representative, representative of the population. Because whenever we are doing sampling, or when we are performing this sampling technique, any one of them, there should not be any kind of biasness so that the sample is not representative. In case your sample is non-representative, in that case, you will have the sampling error. So the sampling error, whenever we talk about sampling error, it is because of the error in the sampling when the sample is not representative of the population. And sampling error is the difference between the result obtained from the sample and the result obtained from the population. Okay, next, time of, next type of error is non-sampling error. It occurs when the data are obtained erroneously or the sample is biased. If your sample is biased, in that case, the error obtained is called the non-sampling error. Or it is also because of the non-representative sample. This one, the non-sampling error occurs if the sampling technique is something like convenient sampling. For example, you are supposed to ask the wages of 20 workers in grocery store. But what you have done is to make your life easy. You went to a Walmart store, you stand at the door, and when these people are coming in, you are asking questions to them. You are making your life easy, okay? Instead of making your sample representative of the entire population. You're just standing at one place and you're asking the question. So you are doing sampling at your convenience. That type of sampling is called the convenience sampling. And the result obtained from the convenience sampling definitely will not match with the data that is supposed to represent the population. Your result will be different from the population. And this is because of the error in sampling method, like convenient sampling. So we say that this is non-sampling error. Next one, uh, the non-sampling error could also occur due to the error in the data entry. You did the sampling right, but when you're entering the data for your calculation, if you make a mistake, in that case, the error might occur. Definitely error will occur, in fact, and that is called the non-sampling error. Okay, so this is what we have learned in this video. We explore the fundamental sampling technique that include random sampling, stratified sampling, systematic sampling, and cluster sampling. Next thing that we have done in this video is we try to understand the sources of error in sampling, and we saw two sampling uh, sources or two ways that we'll have error in sampling. The first one is called the sampling error, and the second one is called the non-sampling error. That is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching.